a senseless and shocking loss. That's how friends and colleagues are describing the fatal stabbing of an FDNY paramedic from Huntington. News 12 Long Island's Virginia Huey is in, the, in Comac right now tracking the latest on this. Hey, Virginia. Hey, Nikita. Lieutenant Allison Russo Elling is being remembered as a hero, a dedicated service member and devoted mother. Those who knew and loved her are still trying to come to grips with the violent way her life was taken. This is a very shocking and very tragic loss. There are signs of mourning across Huntington following the brutal murder of Lieutenant Allison Russo Elling. Flags fly at half mast and black bunting drapes the facade of Huntington Community First Aid Squad. That's where Russo Elling served as a volunteer for nearly 30 years. She was always so kind and helpful, really giving of all of her time and energy to our organization. Friends left flowers outside Russo Elling's house on Derby Avenue in Huntington. It's just heart wrenching. The 25 year of FDNY and 9-11 first responder was on her lunch break yesterday when a male suspect stabbed her multiple times outside Station 49 in Astoria. Police arrested 34-year-old Peter Zizopoulos and charged him with a fatal stabbing, calling it an unprovoked and barbaric attack. To be attacked and killed in the course of helping us, you know, heartbreaking and engaging our department in ways I cannot describe. Officials say Russo Elling is the second EMS member to die in the line of duty in the past five years. Wonderful person. Ask neighbors about Russo Elling and they describe her as a spitfire, feisty and fun. They say she loved water sports, host parties and telling stories. She was very bubbly, very perky, you know, uh, you know, always friendly every time I saw her, you know. She had a boat. Go down on the boat every weekend, and then she graduated to a jet ski. And then she wanted to be more physical, and she went to a kayak. And she just always was very animated. She would be in my living room, and she would be, you know, like, ah, da 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 da, and this we did this, and then this happened, and oh my gosh, you wouldn't believe what happened here. And Russo Elling leaves behind her parents, a daughter, and a squad of first responders who say she'll never be forgotten. And she's going to be very missed. <laughs> Now, thousands are expected to attend the wake and funeral service for Lieutenant Russo Elling here at the Comac Abbey. The dates and times for the services have not yet been announced. In Comac, Virginia Huey, News 12, Long Island.